Hi everybody! This is so exciting! It's time to start coding! The beginning of December is the time that STEAM teachers get most excited about coding because it's Computer Science Education Week in honor of the birthday of computing pioneer Admiral Grace Murray Hopper. Each of you is going to have a bunch of coding challenges assigned on code.org. They'll start simple and then they'll get trickier. The reason we learn to code is because it helps nurture problem solving skills, logic, and creativity. And because science has shown that young people are more receptive to learning computer languages, just like they're receptive to learning language. Research also shows that kids can understand programming concepts before they can read and write, which is why we start in kindergarten. Coding is a special skill that comes easily to some kids and is more difficult for others, just like other school subjects. So hang in there and please come to the one o'clock specialist Zoom if you want to do it with me. I am always here to help. So each student is going to be assigned a code.org course. You'll be taken through a series of coding challenges that build on the skills learned in the previous challenges. Please do not click around in code.org and choose random challenges for two reasons. One, you won't get credit for your work in STEAM unless you do the challenges I assign. And two, you could end up being lost or confused or you could end up repeating work that you've already done. All right, let's get started. Click the link in Seesaw to get to code.org and click the sign in button. Choose continue with Google, it's red, and then sign in via the Google sign in prompts. You should be brought right to your course and if you ever get lost in code.org, just click the logo up here to get back to your course. Hi, first graders. Okay, so for code.org, you are doing course B, and when you log in with Google, it should look like this. If you don't see this, email me, I will fix it. Um, we're just going to go ahead and click try now, and then we're gonna be moving through each of these little shapes, which is your different challenges on code.org, and it goes pretty quickly. This week, I'd like you to try to get through one, three, and four. We're skipping two, and you're going to, um, go all the way through to 10 on number four. So click try now and it will bring you to this first one. This is a video that you'll watch on your own. After you do, you'll click continue. You're done with that one. See how easy these are? Now we're on um, Angry Birds programming, or this is called sequencing with Angry Birds. You're gonna watch this video, make sure that you do, and um, click continue. When you get to the actual programming um, challenges, you will see that there are directions on the top and they start out highlighted. There's this little field right here and then there's the workspace with blocks. So to get the directions, I can either read them or I can click this button to have them read to me. To get the bird to the pig, snap the east block to the bottom of the win run block, then press run. Okay. After snapping all the blocks together, press run to start your program. I'll show you how to do that. Um, this is E because we're talking about directions, east, west, north, south. Snap the E to the when run. So when we click run, we should move our angry bird east one block and it will just hop right there onto the, what I think is a pig. So let's try it, click run. <laughs> Continue. We're done with that challenge. You can see up here on the top, you can track your ch your progress. Our green circles mean we've done them correctly. We can keep listening to the directions, keep clicking blocks to when run, and seeing if we do it correctly. They're going to get harder pretty quickly. Now, to see where you are in your course, or if you um, leave and come back or get lost, click the um, code.org logo up here. Click view course. And you should see what you've already done and what you still need to do. Now, if they are a light green, that means that you made a little mistake and you should go back and try to fix it. Click on the help buttons and it should help you. Otherwise, come to the specialist Zoom at one o'clock every day and I will help you. I would love to do this with you. All right, so to review, I'd like you to get lesson one, lesson three, and lesson four completed this week. Make sure to watch those videos 
and I will um, help you at the specialist Zoom or email if you need it. Good luck!